Let's see the whole process step by step. Out of the game, let's do some magic. Firstly, the additional command line for Fortnite. Open up the Epic Games launcher. Unreal Engine. Settings. Scroll down and you'll find Fortnite. Click on the drop down icon, and here check this option. Now put this command, limit client ticks. Now exit the launcher. And after that, there will be two links in the description, one for the TCP optimizer, and one for gear up game booster, you just need to click on them, and you'll be redirected into my website. Here in case you find any ad, just close it from here, and click on the download link again, and you'll be here, or you can even manually come here by searching TCP optimizer. Download it from here. Download the gear up game booster as well. And after the download, let's start with the TCP optimizer, run it as an admin. And follow these settings. Drag it all the way to 100, select your network adapter. Check custom. Window auto tuning to normal. Windows Scaling Heuristics to Disabled, Congestion Control Provider to CTCP, RSS Enabled, RSE Enabled, TTL to 64, ECN to Disabled, Checksum Offloading to Disabled, TCP to Disabled, LSO Disabled, TCP Timestamps should be Disabled as well. Now go to Advanced Settings, Max Connections per Server should be 10, Local priority to 4, host priority to 5, DNS priority to 6, net priority to 7, max SAN retransmissions to 2. Non-SAC RTT resiliency to disabled, initial RTO to 2000, min RTO should be 300. QoS NLA to optimal 1, network throttling disabled, system responsiveness to gaming. TCP frequency to disabled, no deploy to enabled. Ticks disabled. System cache should be default and size should be optimized. Max user port should be 65534, and wait delay should be 30. That's all. Apply changes, hit OK. Now again restart. After that simply install gear up game booster. You can change its location from here. You can uncheck this one, but keep these both checked. Then hit install. And in the booster, it should automatically detect the games. But if it doesn't just sign in with your Gmail, and after logging in, you just need to launch your game. Still if you don't find Fortnite in here, just search for it. It's now automatically adjusting your network routes for the least ping and packet loss possible. After it's connected, you can launch your game from here. You are done tweaking with the most effective settings, still, I have some other tweaks as well, so continue through the video. And now the firewall settings, head over to settings, Search for firewall. Choose allow an app or feature. Change settings, allow another app. Browse. Now browse your game's location in here. 
Then choose the game EXE with the most size. Add it. Check private as well. Exit it. Next step, again in the settings. Privacy and security. Notifications. Turn these off. Go back. And search for notification settings. Turn it off. Exit it. Now check for updates for your network driver. Search for device manager. Network adapters. Now select the first one, right click and hit update. Search automatically for drivers. Search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Press on check for updates. Now wait for it to complete. It will automatically download and install update if there is any available. Back to the device manager, go to its properties. Advanced. Advanced EE disabled. Energy efficient Ethernet disabled. Green Ethernet disabled. Speed and duplex to auto negotiation. These three should be disabled. And the last one should be set to 10 megabits per second first. That's it. Now in the power management section. Keep this option unchecked and then exit it. Now All right. adjusting the best DNS server. Open up your CMD. Here write ping 1.1.1.1. and then write ping 8.8.8.8. .8 Here, compare the average ping for the DNS servers, the less you have the better it is, as I got less than 1.1.1.1, so I'll be setting my DNS server to this one. For that, open up your settings, Network and Internet, Advanced Network Settings, Ethernet, Edit, Select Internet Protocol version 4. Check use the following DNS server. Now for the 1.1.1.1 server. Use this as preferred DNS. And for the alternate use, 1.0.0.1. And if you get low ping with 8.8.8.8, .8 just use that for the preferred DNS. And for alternate use 8.8.4.4. .4. Alright then hit OK and exit it. And now some command prompt codes that will flush your DNS caches, so open up CMD. Now write the following codes one by one, and then press enter. And after you're done with the codes, restart your system. And after a fresh restart, your ping problem should get fixed. And thanks for sticking around. Hope you found these tips handy. Don't forget to smash that like button. Creating this content is no joke. And with all due respect, love your parents, respect your country, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Catch you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye. Oh yeah, here are some videos. Might be useful for you, so you can check them out. Thanks.